Well, Bejad was uh, the composer in residence up at Saratoga uh, one year, and we played a lot of his music, and uh, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, then, a few years ago, we played the piano concerto, which he wrote for Jean-Yves Thibaudet, and uh, it was fantastic, just a wonderful piece. And uh, after uh, the performance, I just sort of mentioned off the cuff, gee, I wish you'd write a flute concerto. And he looked at me and said, okay. I had my piano concerto performed with, by uh, Jean-Yves Thibaudet and Philadelphia Orchestra with Robert Spano conducting. And Jeff Kainer was the principal flutist. Right after the first rehearsal, Jeff came and said, fantastic, would you write a, a flute concerto for me? I said, sure, and it was that simple. He uh, started it. He, uh, Bejad likes very much to tailor the concertos to the performer. So he was interested in hearing um, me play a lot, uh, recordings, concerts. Um, he, he really made a huge effort to, to come and listen to me and to, um, to experience my playing as much as he could. Well, the name is Flute Concerto, Concerto for Flute and Orchestra. It's in three movements, and the duration is about 26, 27 minutes, depending how fast or how slow we play. And uh, there are no retitles uh, for the movement, so I just strictly consider this as an absolute piece. However, um, there are many passages that remind people of certain settings and the tempo markings, obviously, uh, in some, is very melancholic and uh, really uh, represents lament. So that certainly is there in the concerto, but, but it's mostly absolute music. I actually asked for nothing specific from him. Uh, except for that I didn't want anything with extended techniques, um, lots of um, uh, sort of gimmicky type um, techniques that are very common in um, a lot of modern flute music. I don't really enjoy that sort of stuff and uh, I don't like listening to it. So uh, that's typically when a, a composer writes things for me, that's the only uh, issue that I have is that I don't want a lot of that kind of crazy stuff. And he was very happy not to do any of that sort of thing because that's not his style anyway. So I really, um, I, 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 I set no parameters. I really wanted him to do what he wanted to do. This flute concerto is, is very special for me because uh, it connects me to my cultural past. And also it connects to, to the uh, history of Persian Ney, the bamboo flute that has been in existence for several thousand years. And, uh, and I live in 21st century in New York, so there's a mixture of old and new. And that, to me, is a very special combination, combination of uh, the ancient sound, the ancient tone, with a really modern symphony orchestra and a modern flute. Having just recently got the piece, I'm working on it really hard. Uh, it's um, technically very demanding. I think it's going to be extremely exciting. Uh, it's a real uh, audience pleaser sort of um, music, um, but I think it also is going to expand the technique of the instrument in a way that I think will be very exciting for flutists uh, also. So I think it's, this is going to be a really great piece, a real repertoire piece that uh, audiences will love and I think flute players will also really enjoy working on and performing. Hearing a new piece is so exciting because it doesn't exist anywhere else. And to be at the presence of a premier is very exciting uh, for anybody, uh, but also with the Philadelphia Orchestra as well. That brings a new piece to life and uh, to be there, it's, um, it's so special. The idea of the sort of micro festival of uh, new concerto commissions I think is a great idea. Um, it lends, I think, the uh, performances of these three new concertos uh, uh, an importance that they might not have individually within the framework of the uh, repertoire for the season. So I think it's um, a great way for uh, the subscribers and, of course, individual ticket buyers to come and 
uh, experience the excitement of new repertoire. You know, everything that we play was new once. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony was heard for the first time once. And uh, imagine the excitement of being able to attend the premiere of the music that is now standard repertoire. I hope that uh, the flute concerto will become standard repertoire. I think it will. So I think it's a, a, a fantastic opportunity for people to come and hear the very first time this piece is realized. It's, uh, it's quite exciting. Now, in 18 and 19, early 19th century, uh, all concert halls performed new works. And Mendelssohn started a new series of uh, performing the music of the past. And people resisted that. So what we're doing is we're going back to the roots of classical music, which is performing new music all the time. So I think it's a great direction for Philadelphia Orchestra, and I think all orchestras should follow that.